All right, hey there, everybody. This is another weekly devlog from Terex. Um, I did not, a little bit of an apology up front first. I did not get a lot of time this week to actually do any work on the game. I think um, I usually get about 25 hours a week or so, give or take. This week, I only got about uh, eight hours at most. So I focused on math and UI. So let me go ahead and show you some of the things that I got done. This will be a little bit short this week and it's a little early because I know I won't get time this weekend to do any work on it. I added in a, a location coordinate system. It's based on meters. Um, so every meter you go in the game, it's going to actually display that height as well. And also there's a compass that tells what direction you're going. I haven't decided if I'm going to stay with a compass. Compass, not like this. This is too big and bulky. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to stay with a compass compass or if I'm going to move this to more of a Skyrim compass that just goes across the top and tells you what direction you're facing and um, objective markers and stuff like that. Not really sure, but this is a starting point. I actually have a compass that is workable. You can move it you know, however you want, put it in the middle if you like. Um, hell, if you want, you can just put it right in the center of your screen. Okay, I need to head north. Um, it is a starting point. It was a proof of concept, more or less. Um, what else? We used to have a lot of clutter on the screen, um, information on keys, things like that. I moved the key information down here to a little controls help display help button um, just to get it out of the way and so that it is accessible. System menu still does the system menu thing, and the blue, the building menu is a little bit different. Um, here's something that I changed. You'll notice right off the bat, there's a little green squares on the ground now. If I zoom out, you can see a little bit better. See the little green squares? Um, if I go over here to a place that is um, server owned, it turns red. It shows me if I have permission to build in that given area. So over here, I do have permission. I need to work on the decal and make it a little bit more visible and make it more obvious because I know the graphic isn't that great. But at any rate, this is the first thing that I did. The second thing that I did is I moved the help over here. Um, it's a lot of math stuff this week and UI things. Um, I moved the help over so it shows up when you click the button. And I added grid snapping on and off. So I added a grid system and added grid snapping. So now when you go to play something, you can actually have it snap to the grid, which allows you to fill out your land. For instance, if I wanted to... I can even go with elevations because I'm not looking at that foundation. So it's not snapping to it. It'll actually keep snapping to the ground as long as I'm looking in that square. If I look out of it, it doesn't. If I'm looking in the square, it'll actually let me do this. Boom. I could place another one. And if I wanted to, I could put a ramp or something like that. Or maybe I don't even want to. And I can continue in that vein. If I wanted to lower it, I can just look at that square, not my foundation I'm on. I can look at that square down there and say, I want it to be, well, I wouldn't want to lower that one. I want this one to be, let's get a better example. I want this one to be about right there. So I could do that. And then I could just snap onto this one, boom. So it makes, it makes a little bit better building system when you've got the snapping. That's, that's kind of cool, I think. And it also goes all the way out to the extent. So you can see that's my buildable area, and I can actually build all the way out to the exact edge of it, which is also pretty nice. Um, trees will later go away, and they're going to become – these are static trees. I can't do anything with them. They're going to later be replaced by actors that you can actually chop down. So you'll be able to – you'll have to and be able to chop down the tree. But at any rate, that's that's all I really wanted to show you this week was that I have uh, snapping now. I actually did some work on rotation, so it works a little bit better. If I want to, I can turn on, it works in conjunction with snapping, so I can snap with rotation, or I can just turn the rotation down. Um, so those, I think, are all of the changes for this week. I'm really sorry there wasn't a whole lot more. I mean, I, I did get a lot done in the limited amount of time that I had. But it was mostly focused on the grid and UI, some UI stuff. I wanted to do some cleanup on the UI, uh, get a little, get a couple of things out of the way, and make them a little bit more visible because that was one of the problems before is you couldn't really read anything. Um, I didn't do anything to the deletion mode. I well, I did. I cleaned it up a little bit. I need to make it a little bit more visible, but it is good now. I think. 
and I believe that the little box down in the bottom right hand corner that shows information is actually better now. You can see a little bit better what's going on. All right, so that's and I noticed a little flaw there. It's not hiding my button. Snapping on deletion is not even a thing. Who cares? Um, yeah, there's no point to have that snapping thing even show up. So, found a bug. Um, so, anyhow, that's all I've got for this week. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and share the video. Share with your friends. Tell them what I'm doing. Uh, if you have any suggestions, comments, anything like that, please post them in the comments section below. Uh, I'm doing this for everybody, not just for myself. I mean, honestly, I enjoy playing games. I'm going to play Ashes of Creation. I'm probably going to help run or be a big part of a guild. Um, I don't think I can actually run one myself and keep this up. So we'll see. I, I really don't want to pause my development cycle to play a game and run a guild. So I'll probably end up helping. But I'm really excited about Ashes of Creation and to get some information off of that game and see how they're doing things with their nodes. Because I'm kind of moving towards a city building system. And you might want to call it nodes. In, in a way, it kind of is. But uh, I want it to be completely player-driven and player-created. Um, so, anyhow, I'm still a gamer at heart. And, you know, it's, it's a misunderstanding. People say, you know, I want to build the game that I, I would like to play. Well, the thing is, you wouldn't like to play it. You built it. Um, you know every caveat of the game. You know every secret. So it's not as fun to play a game that you built as it is to play other people's games where there's discoveries and things like that. Um, so anyhow, I'm going to leave you with that. You guys have a great week. Please make sure to share it. I, I don't advertise, so the only way this is going to get out there is if you share it with somebody. Um, if you care. If you don't care, don't share it. You know, if you don't like it, if you don't like what I'm doing, you don't think I'm going anywhere good with it, then hey, that's okay. Um, you, at any rate, I'm going to let you guys go. You have a good week. Terra XT signing out. Bye-bye.